Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So I think it has officially been a year since I filmed a makeup related video and I've really missed them. But those of you that have been following me for a while would know that I am obsessed with Colourpop. But now that we have to pay duties on basically everything here in Belgium, I have been holding back on buying Colourpop until I saw that they came out with this collection. So obviously I am a huge Christmas lover. As you can see, I love the cozy holiday season. Um, I love decorating. I just love everything that has to do with Christmas and the holidays. So when I saw that they released a Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer collab, I knew I had to get my hands on it. So I placed an order and picked up a few of the items. So these are the items that I bought from the collection. This packaging is killing me. It is the most adorable thing ever. So yeah, I busted out my Rudolph sweater. I busted out my ho, ho, ho ears. And I am ready to try out these products for the first time. So if you want to know my thoughts on the Colourpop and Rudolph the Reindeer collection, then definitely stick around and keep on watching. I didn't pick up everything from the collection because there were a few things such as the lip scrub and the lip mask that I already have a ton of and I knew I wouldn't get a lot of use from. So I didn't purchase those items but I did pick up the ones that I was very excited about. So the first thing that I bought is the Soul Body Humble Bumble Mega Mood Melt which looks like this. There you go, this is what that looks like. First of all, obviously, love the packaging. I don't know his name, but it is adorable. I just absolutely love the Christmassy vibes that they went for. I think this would be a great gift for someone to put underneath the Christmas tree. However, now that I am smelling it, I am not the biggest fan of the scent. Don't get me wrong, it smells good, it smells amazing, but... So this may sound really weird, but it reminds me of scented tampons. <laughs> the scent that those have, it reminds me of that. But again, it's not that it stinks, it is just not my favorite scent, but I will get some use out of this for sure. I definitely cannot wait to use it next time that I take a bath. So that is the first thing that I purchased. Next up, the most exciting thing from the entire collection is of course the pressed powder palette. So this is what the packaging looks like. Absolutely adorable. So it has Rudolph with a red nose on it. It does have a relief on it and there are also some sparkly snowflakes on there and again loving the Christmassy vibes. So then when you open it up this is what the palette looks like on the inside and on the back you have all of these gifts with the shade names in it which I think is very adorable and very original um, and then you also have I, is this baby Rudolph? I don't know. And a beautiful Christmas tree. But I just, again, love the overall vibes of the packaging. And then when you open it up, this is what you have. So you have a beautiful big mirror. It has the tinsel all around it. And then these are the shades in the palette. This is one of the first Christmas themed palettes that I actually really love. I think the color story that they went for is very original. As you can see, you get your cool tones, but then you also get your warm tones. There is a pop of green, there is a pop of red without it looking too like overly Christmassy where you would never wear it after the holidays. It is just a beautiful palette overall. You get your pops of color, but you also have your beautiful neutrals that are still quite original if you ask me. So color story wise, I absolutely love it. I think it is one of the best palettes that they have released so far. They are constantly releasing so many products that it is hard for them to be original and to come up with something that they don't already have in their collection. But this one is definitely original, which is why I decided to pick it up. So, so far, packaging wise, color story wise, I am all for it. I have not touched all of these products, so all of my thoughts in this video will be a first impression. But I thought we could swatch a few shades. So maybe Elf Practice, this one right here. That is gorgeous, look at that. And then maybe we can also swatch a Handsome Nose and maybe a matte full power. Let's see. So this is a handsome nose and then we have full power which is a matte. Wow, that looks very promising. Maybe also Christmassy time, the forest green right here 
and then maybe North Pole, which is definitely an everyday shade for me. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so, so far very impressed with the swatches, but of course the most important thing is how it will look on the eyes. So to start off my eye look, I'm going to use Eat Eat, which is this shade in my crease. So that is going to be our transition shade. And to blend that, I'm going to use a ColourPop blending brush. It doesn't have the name on it. I think this is one of the first ones that they ever released and those didn't have names on it. I think now they do. Um, but I'm just going to grab a little bit of Eat Eat. Maybe zoom you guys in a little bit. Oh. And I'm going to start blending that into my crease. I have missed filming tutorials and reviews, but I feel like nobody makes them or watches them anymore. So if you are still interested in my reviews and my makeup videos, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to get back into it. Um, I just don't know if there is still an interest for them, which is why I haven't really filmed them in a very long time. I have lived here for nine months i think and this is the first makeup video that i am filming here by the way this shade is blending out beautifully i do have to build it up quite a bit but that is okay i personally prefer shades that are more buildable that way i feel like i have a little bit more control that is a beautiful beautiful warm toned transition shade it does look very warm and more on the reddish side now that I have applied it versus what it looks like in the pan. But nonetheless, a very pretty shade. So I'm just building that up until I am happy with the intensity. Just like that. And then, then I'm going to pick up the shade Christmassy Time, which is this beautiful forest green shade. And I'm going to pack that on the outer third of my eye with a more precise brush. Let me see which one I want to use. And I am going to use my Morphe M507 for that. So packing it on and I'm going to focus it on the outer part of my eyelid. And then I'm stopping just here. So really focusing on the outer parts, which is very important for for the look that I have in mind. And then once I place that down, I'm going to start blending it in a little bit and making sure it looks nice and seamless. But by the way, that shade looks beautiful. It also doesn't need a lot of packing. It is very intense already. Really loving that shade. And as always, you guys know my looks are very basic, not very hard to recreate. So if you are looking for an intense look to create with this eyeshadow palette that is more advanced, you're not watching the right channel. I like to make my looks very easy to recreate and also wearable. I think this is one of the most colorful looks that I have created in a hot minute, which says a lot because this is not that colorful. It is colorful, but not like over the top colorful. Picking up the previous blending brush and a little bit of Eat Eat, which was our transition shade, I'm going to start blending my crease so that the transition between the green and the camel shade isn't too harsh. Then I am going to take my ColourPop E4 brush, this one does have a name, and a little bit of my NYX glitter primer and I'm going to place that down on the inner parts of my um, eyelids where I didn't put the uh, darker shade. And then I'm going to take the shade Elf Paradise and start applying that where I applied the glitter primer. And I'm using the same brush to apply that. And I'm going to start by focusing it in the center of my eyelid and then bringing it in a little bit inwards, but not too much because I want to put another shade there. Again, a very pretty shade. And then I'm going to grab the shade North Pole, which is the first one right here. And I'm going to focus that on the inner parts, but again, using the same eyeshadow brush. Okay, that actually is a little bit too cool tone for what I am looking for. So I'm actually going to go over that with Snowbank, this shade. And I'm first going to use my finger to pack it on. Yeah, that is... A little bit better and now I'm going to grab a little bit of North Pole again on my eyeshadow brush 
and blend the two shades together so that we have a beautiful combo of those two shades. That was exactly what I was looking for. Taking my Morphe blending brush and a little bit of Christmassy time, I'm going to intensify the outer parts just a little bit because we lost a little bit of that green intensity on the outer parts. And then just repeating all of the colors until I am happy with how everything transitions into one another and I think I am there. Grabbing my blending brush, going over the transitional area one more time. And that was exactly what I was looking for. Very beautiful. All right, now we still have to finish off the lower lash line. So on my Morphe G28 brush, I'm going to pick up Christmassy time, focus that close to my waterline and on the outer parts of my eye. Then taking my Morphe E18 brush and a little bit of Eat Eat, which was our transition shade, I'm going to start blending that on my lower lash line. And Eat Eat, I am dragging inward a little bit. All right, almost finished on a Zoeva Detail Shader, the 237. I am going to pick up North Pole again and pack that in the inner corners of my eyes. And then on my Zoeva Petit Fan Brush, the 137, I'm going to pick up the same shade and add that on my brow bone area. All right, I'm going to apply some ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Honey Dude and my waterline. And now I'm going to finish off with some mascara off camera and be right back. Okay, eyes are completely finished. This is the look that I ended up with and I absolutely love it. It looks so shimmery, so Christmassy. I am very happy with the end result. So it goes to say that I am absolutely in love with this palette. By the way, the sun is coming through, which is probably why I have a horrible, horrible shadow on me. Oh god, this looks horrible. Damn it. All right, I fixed the shadow, I think. It might be a little bit dark in here right now, but this is the best I can do. But as I was saying, I absolutely love the palette. These are 15 beautiful shades that I know I will get a ton of use of even after the holidays are over. It is honestly just one of the best Christmas palettes that I have seen in a while. So I am very happy I picked it up. Just like I'm used to from ColourPop, the quality is amazing. Price-wise, it is on point. I think it is, let me check. So the palette retails for 24 euros, which I think is such a steal. It is a little bit more expensive than their usual palettes, but totally worth it. By the way, the Mega Mood Melt was $9. But yeah, again, totally worth it. And if there's something you should pick up so far, it is definitely the eyeshadow palette. 10, 10. Moving on to lips, I picked up the couple of Misfits Lux Gloss Trio. This retails for $24 and it comes with three Lux glosses. Again, packaging is absolutely adorable, absolutely stunning, so Christmassy and it just makes me very happy. So we have three shades. We have Hermie, Dolly and Misfit Elephant. These are the three shades that come in the bundle. So you have a lighter shade, a medium toned, like more corally shade and a reddish shade. Again, absolutely loving the packaging they went for. This one has a blue cap with snowflakes on it. So again, packaging 1010. I don't think I've ever tried their Lux lip glosses. So I'm very excited to try it out. Let's start off with the first one.
three shades that come in this little lip bundle. I do really enjoy this formula. It is not too sticky. It is a little bit sticky. It is a lip gloss, but it's not too bad. It feels a little bit oily. It also feels very hydrating and moisturizing on the lips. They don't really pack a lot of color. Like there's barely a difference between the three. It is very subtle. Um, but as you can see, this one is just a little bit more pinkier than, for example, the first one, which was Hermi. So they're very sheer, but they're very shiny and glittery, and I think I will get a lot of use out of these. And moving on to the last thing that I picked up from the collection. This is the I Think You're Cute Lip Duo. So there are two lip duos in the collection. We have Clarice's Lip Duo and then also Rudolph's Lip Duo. Rudolph's Lip Duo is a true Christmassy red. Um, and then Clarice's Lip Duo is more of a nude. Normally I would go for the red, but... I only wear reds and darker shades in matte versions because when it is more creamy like these are then it tends to smudge and budge and just get everywhere and I don't like that which is why I didn't pick it up because I knew I wouldn't get a lot of use out of it but I do love a good nude lipstick which is why I picked it up so this comes with the Clarice Lux lipstick and the Clarice lippy pencil again packaging is absolutely gorgeous if you have the Rudolph one they go really well together this is honestly the Christmas vibe that I love the original authentic Christmas colors red and green um, I am just all for it. So this is the packaging of the lipstick and the lip pencil. And I have to be completely honest, I just cannot make up my mind if I love this or if I think it looks tacky and cheap. I really don't know. I think it looks tacky and cheap, but at the same time, it looks so cool and cozy for the holidays. It is a beautiful, like, shimmery red packaging. So yeah. I don't know, I am very undecisive when it comes to this packaging. I think I kind of like it. It looks tacky, but I like it. And then this is the lip pencil. Again, it has the snowflakes on it. But yeah, let's go ahead and swatch it and apply it on the lips. in love with this shade so beautiful okay it is not very Christmassy I do have to admit but this is a beautiful everyday shade it is a gorgeous nude that is a little bit cool tone but not too much I just I am obsessed with this shade. The formula is extremely comfortable. I am barely feeling anything on my lips except hydration. All right, so to wrap up this video, I had so much fun creating this look and filming this video. I honestly cannot recommend this collection enough. I know ColourPop has been releasing a ton of collections, but this is the first one in a while that actually managed to spark my interest um, and it didn't let me down. For the price you pay, you get beautiful packaging, beautiful shades, beautiful quality. I am just a very huge fan of this entire collection. So if you are debating on getting something, I definitely would suggest doing that. My two favorites are of course the eyeshadow palette and then also Clarice's lip bundle. Everything else I also really enjoyed, but if you ask me what my top two are, those are definitely it. But yeah, that was actually it for today's video. I am so excited to be back with makeup videos. I have missed filming these so much and I now realized how much I love filming them. I hope you have a beautiful holiday season. I hope you have an amazing Christmas. I am also doing Vlogmas in case you are wondering and you want to see more of my daily life. I have Vlogmas week one and two up already, I think, or at least Vlogmas week one. So definitely check out my channel if you are interested in my daily life and that is going to be it from me i love you so much thank you for watching and i'll see you all in a next video Mwah. bye guys <laughs>